So I, I, I will give you games to play, and then you will have like three minutes to play the game. Okay? I'll leave it up to you to switch every two or three repetitions with your partner, top to bottom. So far, so good. And that's it. So, the first game for guard retention, we will start from the very end, and we will play with what you do when everything else fails. So whatever we do after, when, when, when it doesn't succeed, you can just default to what we do now. Yeah? And it's very easy. You can turtle in or turtle, uh, turtle out. So if I have somebody there, if I have somebody there, <laughs> just stay there, and, uh, and he's passing the guard, and the guard, part, the guard retention fails, you are going to default either to turtle out, so you turtle out this way with his end here. Okay? Don't turtle out like this, but push me away and then chase me. Because clearly the back takes up end. Turtle out, go, chase me. With your hand in the pocket here. This is very important because from here you can start to bring again the action into him immediately. Okay? Or you fail the guard retention and you hope to turtle in. You go to turtle, but in his direction. So you're going like we were doing yesterday. Okay? Yeah. Okay? So. Uh, play. I will just pass the guard, but very easily. Yeah, not like, like if my life depends on it. And you are allowed to do only two things. You can turtle away or you can turtle in. Okay? No grips, nothing. Just push the legs away and you can go there. Then really there, or you can there. That. Or yes. that. Okay, so very easy game. Very easy game. What I'm doing, I throw his legs away or I push them down. What he is allowed to do, turtle away or turtle in, and absolutely nothing else. Three minutes. I'm gonna keep you on the floor. Time. So, I know you might have a lot of questions on this, but again, this is the end game where everything got retention failed. You bail out these this two things. The turtle in, we've seen it yesterday. The turtle out, we deserve one more hour, just like the one hour yesterday for the turtle in. And there's no time. I'm sorry. But, uh, so one, you can ask me a little bit about everything, or any time in the other room. Two, we will see again these things during the class. So don't worry if there are holes here and there. At the end, everything would be so clear. <laughs> okay. But yes, why are you fixing your... <laughs> okay, next, next game. Again, the training is for him, it's not for me, okay? So I'm not passing like my life depends on it. And now I will just move his legs around without gripping, okay? Just move the legs around. <coughs> you are not allowed to put your feet on the mat. Mm -hmm. Never, ever, ever. Okay? No, no. Your, yeah? Mm -hmm. There is no grip and you're using your feet to track my legs. Always put one feet on my legs and reset your uh, feet. Yes, that's it. That's all the game. I can speed it up a bit. You can use your feet or your hands to track my legs. End of the game. Easy as that. Okay? I walk around. I can push his legs around. That's why my job. His job, yeah, the rules for him are no feet on the mat. Use your hands or your feet to track my legs. Make contact here and always reset. Ah, okay, three minutes, switch top to bottom uh, by yourself, go. Um, again, 
when whatever you're trying to do fails, start to away or start to end. Okay? This is your default for, for every time you, you lose the game and, like, and you cannot track my legs anymore. Yeah, yeah, why not? Okay, every time you lose the game, you start to away or you start to away. That's, that's your, your, your default last uh, resource. So, let's put some detail now. You don't want to start a guard retention uh, situation, a guard retention game like this, okay? With our head on the same line. Because I have pretty much 50-50 chances, you know? I can go left and right, I can go through. Everything is accessible from here. You want to cut away options to me. So, you go on the side, okay? Exactly. So, imagine as a reference, his spine as a 45 degree uh, angle to my spine, okay? You do not put your feet on the mat ever again, okay? So, every time he's playing okay for me, if you see his feet on the mat, you start booing him. But <laughs> really, really, okay? Let's make a test, boo him. Exactly like this, every time he puts his feet on the mat, okay? Now, this foot will be looking always at my belt. What if I don't have the belt? Same, yeah, put <laughs> This other foot will always point at my, at my shoulders. What if I don't have the belt? It still doesn't change, it's on the shoulders. Okay, and now from here, the game state, look, you see, if I try to pass this guard, almost, almost anyone will try to go here. It's, the, the back is too far. Keep your, uh, keep your arm outside, legs, yes. Knee low, as close as possible to your shoulder, exactly. This is your standard starting position, okay? Now if I try to go there and I have no grip, what's the rule of the game? No. You track my leg. There you are. Okay? Sometimes you will be too slow to just follow me with your feet, but you have your hand. And now you reset, okay? So, stand up this up here. I can use my elbow on the mat to have my movement like this, okay? Try to be as curved as possible. So really push your head towards the ceiling. Because if you are flat, there is too much surface on the mat. And when you try to move, you look like this. Yeah? You know all the white in your gym doing this thing. Okay, you don't want to be that person. So, up. Now it's easier to move because I have less your face on the mat, right? So far so good. Points to the belt, points to the shoulder, knee to the chest, arms outside. Matthias moves around, no grip. He can push my legs, but he doesn't grab, uh, really, really grab. Go, 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 go. You have to pass the guard. And then only go, keep going. Always posting. Sorry. If there is no grip, I'm trashing the legs. If I fail, I'm turning away or I'm turning in. So far, so good. Yeah? So, yes, same game as before, but now we have a, a few more details. I'm not going to grab. I can push his legs around. There is no grip, so you always track my leg. Don't use the hand to grip immediately, rather push. So, yes. And every time you push, try to completely switch the angle. So you go from here, push, to there. Okay. There, there. You see? Push, switch the angle, there. I always want to, to see this in front of me. Okay. The rules are clear. Three minutes, play. Questions? Three, two, one. Yeah, I have a question. Ah. <laughs> when you're... Um, when it's all gone wrong and you turn into the person, 
What do I do with this nest if they pass to my to this side here? Do I have this elbow high? That I can come in here to get this and shelf the leg. Yeah, um, I, I like that. I, with my elbow yeah, my I like that there's no space here. So okay. either I keep either I make more space like this or I use the mat to make more space. So if I'm talking again, like we were doing yesterday, okay, I will either go like this. Okay, yeah. Or I would go like this. In both cases, there's no space under the armpit, but this is the tar terrain that we were doing yesterday to yeah. begin the rest of the yeah. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, a lot of you are cheating at the game and then grabbing the, the, the legs to move them around. So, the you or fight for being my UK. A bit more angle, just a tiny bit. Yeah, okay? So, okay, now this person is allowed to actually grab and push the legs away, okay? Wherever you want. So the rule of the game now is that if I am grabbing, you are going to counter grip. So either you grab the gi like this, or if there is no grip, no, no gi, you cover my hand like this. Okay? This, not, don't, don't, yeah, don't go like this. Look, yeah, this grip, yeah, with the thumb up, because when we start to move, this becomes uncomfortable and almost useless. You want to keep your hand like this, exactly. So if I grip your legs for moving them around, you are counter gripping, and now your feet are tracking my arms, not my legs anymore. Same here. If I have a grip on the leg, you are doing the same, right? And you really force this tracking of, of my arms. So if I move around, you just hold that, okay? If I put pressure there, I want to see the head on the mat immediately. So from bottom, so that I cannot easily roll you over, okay? Now maybe I grip, I break it. If there is no grip, what do you track? What do you track if there is no grip? The legs. There you are, see? Yeah, that's it. You can use the hands too. As soon as I grip something, counter grip, and now you're tracking my arms, okay? So much so good. Should I repeat quickly from scratch? Okay. Yes. Okay, please come there. Thank you. That's why I put now the questions in my classes. I bring people in. So angle to begin with. Okay. This one here. This one here. Knees close to your chest. Arms. Elbows on the mat. Like this. Elevate yourself, push the head to the ceiling. No, that's the ceiling. <laughs> Do you speak English? <laughs> yes. Like this? Yes. I'll see that they the mat. Push me. Up, 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 up. There you are. I move around you. I have no grip. What do you track? My legs. Sometimes you will not have time or space to track my legs with your feet. So you post with the hand, for example. Yeah, for example, that, don't grip, just really post and push. Perfect, you see, you switch the end. That's exactly what you want to do, okay? You miss my legs, there is no grip, so you're tracking my legs. You miss my legs, now you have your hands. Push, uh, okay, that's the default. <laughs> just push, switch the end, boom. Exactly, okay? As soon as I have a grip on your legs, you are not tracking my legs anymore, what do you track? Exactly, with my arms. You immediately go there. Put the head on the mat, say push, put the head on the mat, oh, yes, you see that? Yeah. yeah, exactly this. Okay, and then this can be mixed too, because maybe I have a grip, but not here. So what do you do with this foot? Yes. Okay. Yes, no, makes sense? Yeah. Three minutes. Yes. Uh, the question about uh, when it's grabbing the legs. Mm -hmm. uh, do you try always to grab the hands or you would try to pick out first and then 
No, I will, I will first try to, to, to grab the hands. Yes. All right, also with Nogi. Yeah, also with also Nogi. I mean, yeah, of course you can also just try to kick it away. The problem with kicking it away is that you are opening yourself. Okay. Right? The ideal jiu-jitsu body has the knee attached to the shoulder, so your, your, uh, this part of the leg just comes up from here, and the foot is here. And your elbow is attached here, so you just have your forearm coming up from here. Right? Yeah, that's the idea of this body. And, and when, you're, when you are kicking to extend, right? So that's why I prefer to control the hand first, and then maybe uh, you can uh, free your feet, or just pummeling and, and put your posts in the arms and the shoulders, wherever. Okay? So, quick recap, and then we play it again. Okay? So you are not going to start. Uh, on one line, we have one angle. Show me the ideal jiu jitsu body. Yes, you see? Exactly. <laughs> okay? Well, as, as good as it gets. You cannot ask him that much, but still. Okay? So, yeah. No grip. What does it track? The legs. And you always, see, don't stop there. That's why I asked you before. Directly go from one angle to the other angle. Okay? Because if you just try to, to fix it a bit, then what happens is that now we are symmetric, and as soon as we are, uh, not symmetric, we have one line, and that's the moment where people start to come true. Okay? Because you don't want to show me this. That, that's, why, that's why I need an angle. So if, for example, you use your hand to post on my leg, you are not going to grab, you're really pushing yourself, and you switch directly to the other angle. Yes, yes. You can do it even a bit more, force it a bit more. Exactly that, perfect. Okay, so keep, the, keep this in mind when we play the game again. And actually, this is how you can set up uh, very easily triple switch when playing guard retention. So actually, we are going to play this game now. So we go back one step. I'm not gripping every, anything, okay? This person to pass is only allowed to push the legs around and then try to go chest to chest. You know the rules from, for, uh, for him, there is no grip, so he's only touching my legs. But now I, really, I ask you to really focus on when you change the angle, to directly go to the other angle. Yes, you see what happens? This is the perfect moment that you will find no, sorry, let me rephrase it. This is one of the best moments that you would find to grab my ankle and immediately go into a triple sweep. Okay? You can hear the triple sweep. Woohoo! Yeah, everybody claps. Your mom is so proud. You stand up. You stand up. You stand up. <laughs> and now we play again from this side. Okay? And then, and I just go, just move. Okay, I try the leg because it's completely. But if it forces me, look, you see? Post, completely switch the angle, you are immediately here. Okay, angle switch, go up, start again. Clear? For everyone, you are allowed to say yes. <laughs> see? Uh -huh. Three minutes. Rinse and repeat, huh? I, 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 as I said, uh, all the things that I'm switching into this one hour normally would be two, three, maybe even four or five days in, uh, in the gym, you know? Because normally what we do is we take one game, we play it over and over again, and, and uh, after every round, let's say, I tweak something here and there. Maybe I add one group, or maybe I add one detail, and we just go over and over again. Uh, but if we do this, then it's one hour for like, the first game, that's all. And I think it's more interesting if, if uh, we get you know, more of these uh, blood retention games. Uh, details, 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 what do you think? Yes, so let's, set, let's put a bit of details on this. Somebody there, please? <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're starting from here and uh, work a bit more on these guys, okay? Because I see a lot of people uh, too relaxed 
with the shoulders now, and now again, you're forced to move like this. Shoulders up, use your elbows to keep your shoulders up. You know where your feet are pointing, okay? And now when you move, you see? It's much easier, okay? The less you face, surprisingly, the less you face you have a mat, the better you move, right? So, try, try to do that. Uh, details, yes. When, when he grabs my feet and he throws them away because he wants to pass, try to not react like this. Go. Yeah. That's, that's like two or three steps before you can actually face him again. It's way too slow, way inefficient. The first thing that, that I suggest you to do, go, is to just point the toes to, the, to him. Okay, I don't, I don't allow him to throw my feet there, and now I have to go this way and reset everything. But that, that simply doesn't work. He throws my legs away, and I'm here. Yeah? I become immediately heavier to move like, by far. Yeah, it's a lot heavier. Go again, and it's easier for me to always reset to the standard open guard with my angle, foot, foot, and knees to the chest, okay? So when, when it throws me away, one more reason you see to switch angle, this is where your triple sweeps enter. What if my partner is grabbing my legs? <clears throat> what do you do in this case? You counter grip and you track the arm. It can be like this, bicep, forearm. And this is where all your spider shit starts. Okay, clearly we are not diving into spider things today. It's not the topic of the class, but you can start to see all your spider, lasso, it's everything here. But how, how does this happen? It happens because while he's passing the guard, he tries to grip my legs, so I counter grip and I set up all my lasso spider things. <coughs> Make sense? Yeah? Yeah. Same if it's not good. So from here, well, now that I have this, now I'm in control. Now you can also switch to this stuff and everything else. But how do you enter all this de la Riva, reverse de la Riva, shin, whatever? You enter them because while he was trying to pass my guard, he grabbed my legs. So I counter grip and I track his arms. And now from here, I have everything else. Make sense? Yeah? And, once again, if what he chooses to do is to try to roll me over, because this is, this happens too, right? First reaction, go. Head on the mat, hip down, stretch your leg. Imagine you are deadlifting, yeah? Push this down, yeah, uh, flip over. Okay? You make yourself heavy here. No? Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, okay, so next rule, because despite all of these good intentions, he's not gripping, he's going around, I track the legs. He grips, I counter grip, I track the arm. What can still happen at this moment of the guard pass is that he manages, without losing the grip, to, um, to get rid of my post on his arm, go. No, no, just, don't, just move, you know, like you pass a spider guard. Let me help you. Yes, like this. Okay, so now he has a grip, but my feet are pointing away. Okay, here we have to do a small distinction if there is the gi or there is no gi. If there is the gi, you still have this grip. So what you're doing, the near arm, the near arm, you, are, you immediately push this, your grip into his pocket, that pocket. Finish the pass, please. Yeah. No pass. You see, I push the grip into his far pocket. And I just go away. There's no pass here. You can try to chase the back if he wants, but that keeps me protected. So, let me do it again. We are here. At this moment of the game, I fail 
the cost of yarn, this, the nila, I start to push it. It doesn't matter if I grip, break or not the grip, but I push it into that pocket. There, a good strong frame. Finishes, and here, protected by this. Okay, then from here, you can choose to grab into a guard, you can stand up and go away, you can just reset the guard. Yeah, these things you can figure out by yourself if you play the game often enough. If there is no gi, I would be here or, or here, something like this. This fades again, go. This changes, and I will post with the far arm into the other. There. Finish the pass. I know I have my touch again. I need to go away. You open the way for me to get out. You see it? Does it make sense? Do I show it again? Time. Quick, huh? Yeah, that's what so, I Quickly, all the rules of the game, and then just drill it again and again. Angle, foot to the back, foot to the shoulders. Arms outside, elbows on the mat. Elbows on the mat, yes, both, both, both of them, yeah, yeah. And use the elbows to really push your head up there. That's, that's the position where you can, more space, I need more space here, no shoulder, no, yeah, no shoulder on the back. No shoulder, yes, exactly. This is, this gives you mobility. Okay, now I want to pass. You have an angle, so passing through this is simply not there. I move around without, uh, without gripping anything, you track my legs, either with your feet or with your, with your hands. Exactly that. You try to always switch completely the angle. Because you don't want to create a situation where you kind of follow me, but now I have this. Because you, you are positioning yourself in that bad line. Okay, so you just cut to the angle straight away. Either with your feet or with your hands. Yes, you see? And that's where you can try to set up tripod sweeps. Next step, I have a grip. You counter grip immediately. And you track my arms. Now I can track the speed of this as you go around, but it's very easy for you to be track. If I go fuck this guy and I really push forward, head on the mat, no, don't stretch. Uh, heel to the floor, head on the mat, there, that's it. You feel it? Yeah? Okay. Next step. I got rid of the post in the, of his post in my arms. And so as soon as I start to pass, you don't need that grip anymore. Near arm into my pocket. Start to away. Nice. You see? Now you can stand up, go away. You can turn, reset the guard, many options. Nogi, all the same until the moment where. Nogi, all the same until the moment where I have the grip, counter grip, perfect, okay? Your feet are not uh, tracking anything anymore. So, Nogi, far arm, sip, uh, turn, I'm oh, no, sorry, you were right, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Into his elbow, and now turtling. In, 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 yes. You see? Oh, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Go away. <laughs> Good? Yes? Yes, Francesco. <laughs> so, there will be, other details here and there, like for example, when people just start to push your knees away, because from here, something else that, you know, if you play the game enough, when this guy starts to adapt, something that, that's, that will happen is that people will push the knees away like this. Okay? So, as soon as I do it, see post into your, your hand into that, like this, and elbow on the mat, open, open. Stop that. You see? What do you do with his hand? You come to grip. Exactly. See? Now I cannot push your knee away, and now you have time to pummel your legs in. You start normally from that one. Exactly. So this would be an, another important reaction to play with. See? Don't let me do that. Boom. Exactly. And now you pummel. 
this is something else that can be introduced in the game. But time is a tyrant, so three minutes, new partner, okay? Uh, or, 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 no, no, for fun, yeah, cool, train. <laughs> Randomly throw in there a couple of situations that I've seen around or questions that you ask me, but that they are interesting to be answered for everybody, I think. Um, so one one there, right? So please. So she passes, no D, okay, go back. What do you do go, when everything else failed? You have to or you tuck her away. Don't forget this thing because it's really, really important. When everything else fails, choose fucking tuck her away. Keep your elbow closed and tuck her away or tuck her in. Okay? That was the first game, and it's the first game for a reason. Because whatever else you play, at some point you fail it, right? So you have to bail out. And you just go like, yeah, fuck, it, I'm out of here. Tuck her in, tuck her away. Then there's, there's no. Uh, uh, stabilizing position there, at least you know, it's very really good to hear it. Uh, but regardless, slow it down a bit, please, so we can go. And we say, uh, yeah, this, no gain, right? Now, I'm not pushing there, I'm pushing into her. And now I can choose, but I cannot go behind her now because there is the arm in the way. So I will go like Matthias did, away. Make sense? And then there's uh, something else that uh, can happen with you, for example. That after trying to roll me away, when this person goes like this, he will try to jump there. <laughs> right? Again, if you play if you play these games in training, all these situations will happen. That, that's why that's why I told you, you know, this is a, an assortment of the various games that we will play to to train that retention, but I would go with one or two games for training and then keep fine tuning, adding a, a small detail, but reiterating the same game. Okay, so it is a bit too much maybe for one hour, but everything is on video. Okay. So, if you are playing with the ideal Jiu Jitsu body, where this comes up from here and this comes up from here, okay, it has to roll you. You go like this, he tries to, to jump to the mouth. But the idea of Jiu body does not allow that. Because you don't overextend your legs, ever. There's no reason to kick that person away. You don't want to do, go again, this. You feel? Yeah. You don't want to kick the person away like this. That, that's what a kid does. Okay? Even if you train um, MMA or self-defense. Self-defense. Very underrated, under-trained aspect of Jiu-Jitsu these days. And you're in a situation like this. It, it, this is what guard is about, right? You are not kicking the guy away. That's, that's what the kid does. Yeah? You want to punch him on the nose. I need longer arms. <laughs> yeah, but even with longer arms, you know? You need, uh, you need arms longer than my, longer than my legs. Yeah. But you feel I'm not pushing you, I'm not kicking you away. Yeah. I'm just staying there and elevating my hip to create this distance. Yeah? Pushing you away would be very childish. You know, a very instinctive childish. And now this happens. <coughs> yes. So if you're playing that and he's trying to destroy your leg, to, to, to push and pull your legs to create this space, your game would be, for example, one game would be, okay, your job is to create this space. My job is to keep this space. Play. Let's see who scores the most. <laughs> and when so everything else fails, you talk to away or you talk to them. Because that's a super important reaction to have. Make sense? So, we've a lot of things and I think it's okay with this. 
Yeah. As usual, questions, open mat or dinner with a beer. Depends on you know how, how serious is the question. Picture. Thank you.